welcome to Geodis Park. This is America, the United States' largest soccer specific stadium. And us, four British guys, have decided to go along to a soccer game. We've come all the way to America to watch soccer. Let's go. Look, look at the massive cars here in the car park. <laughs> on the way into the stadium, well, on the road surrounding the stadium, there were people selling uh, parking spaces on their driveways and in their gardens, their front yards, yards. Um, for up to $40. And you come here and there's loads of empty spaces outside the stadium. This stadium is less than one year old, in fact. Now, soccer is getting bigger here in Nashville, especially on this side of the town, where there's a large Latin American community. They got these snazzy barcode scanners, so you go and scan your ticket using your Google wallet apparently. Let's see if I can find it. There you go. It. it feels more like one of the German stadiums, perhaps. What's cool is here as well, it seems like the home and away fans are mixed. There's a lot of this uh, kind of rivalry that we get back in the UK. So everybody's free to mingle. Look at the stadium, James. It's incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Double layer. <laughs> Everywhere you go in the States you get ID'd, we're all in our 30s. <laughs> Here is advertise around all $11.50 and then they had tax and a tip on as well so we're looking at $15 for a beer, most expensive beer I've ever had at a football match, including Norway Kim. It is a 6.5% IPA. Mm. A pretty good one at that. Why are we booking another trip? It's USA! Yeah. <laughs> Even got a countdown to kick off over there, look, 28 minutes and 52 seconds. <laughs> it's blasting, it's like they need a dance floor. What are you going to see? Are you going to that loud? Uh, drilling them, no, never this loud. And we're always playing the same old classic like Sweet Caroline. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a nightclub. It's an Eastern Conference clash. It's Atlanta, who are, I think, their second or third in the Eastern Conference of the MLS. Or you're meant to call it MLS, not the MLS. That's very bad. And Nashville, who are sick. This chap here is wearing the official goalkeeper shirt of Nashville FC. Ultras down there with the drums. Okay. My favourite thing about the stadium is how open it is. So you've got all the seats, you've got the bleachers down there as well, but you've still got these open corners. So it feels like the city of Nashville and its surroundings are coming into the stadium. See what I mean about the away fans just being scattered around. It's just like being a rugby rather than football back in the People waving their respective flags. You've got a, a Honduran flag, I think that is, Laotian. Latin American community, very well represented here. Yeah, so I can see the flag from the ultras over there. It says La Brigada de Oro, which means the Golden Brigade. And that is the Golden Brigade over there. As well as they've got a safe standing area, it's really cool. We've spotted Petr Cech down here, running around. Okay, the countdown is saying half a minute to go, yet the team is only just going down the tunnel from the end of the warm-up, so I have no idea what's going on. There is kind of a proper away end right on the end of this stand that I'm pointing at now. Oh, and we've started another countdown from 20 minutes now. <laughs> Second countdown's just begun. We were counting down to the end of the warm-up, 
And now we're counting down, I guess, to kick off now. Welcome to the States. Beer is very nice, actually. It's got a passion fruit kind of flavour to it. Passion fruit IPA. about the price of the food at Guernsey FC ever again. Found out. You can see the little scoreboard up there, they're counting not only the goals scored but also the number of saves made for some reason. Oh, and now it's gone to shots. So they love the stats here. Stolen the Icelandic club. Now, lots of you know that I love Iceland. Lovely to see the Nashvillians adopting the Icelandic club. And we've got a free kick. The beans were stadium with armrests. to Nashville at the break. No idea why, but there's a guy singing Queen at half time. But I can't see him anywhere. No idea, half time in seven here at Nashville SC. Drama. Controversy. No way, man. No. They've given the penalty to Atlanta. Zimmerman is not happy, the captain. He's the guy who found. 
allow Gareth Bale in the World Cup. Eight minutes of added time, not surprised, there's sort of lots of rolling around on the floor. little bit here. Maybe she wants to give us some. Free luggage tag. Look at that. Did you get a free luggage tag? Nope. Go up to the lady. She'll give you one. Look at that. Beautiful. Put it on your luggage, James. <laughs> wow, look at all the traffic. In a big European city, we go to the game by public transport to avoid all of this. Look at this. We found the Nashville frat house and look, the chicks have arrived apparently. They're all shouting chicks across the road at them. <laughs> Guys, you can't say that they don't know their football culture here in Nashville. They've named a street here just near the stadium after Euro 96 bottle job and now England gaffer Gareth Southgate. Look at that. We're here in Midtown now in Nashville and we've had a great day at the football. Dan, compared to English football, soccer they call it here, what did you think of the game? I'd say it was pretty good. It was end to end, um, but that might have been because of some lack of decent defending and some decent holding midfielders. Um, I would say that it was League One to Championship standard, at best maybe. Um, they would struggle against the likes of Blackburn and Sunderland. Absolutely, I quite agree with Dan there. Uh, I enjoyed some of the chants though, the chants were interesting. Uh, <laughs> so when the goalkeeper let in a goal, it's, it's all your fault, it's, it's all, all your fault. fault. And uh, there was another funny chant. Goal say no, that yeah. was my favourite. So, <laughs> so when there was a keeper made a save or like just caught the ball randomly in some play, they'd be like, goal say no, <laughs> goal say no. <laughs> See, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a soccer snob, but what I would say is, it's a great day out, but you're lacking kind of like the history that we've got in English football, definitely. I would also say, however, it was nice, even though we were watching MLS and it was a bit League One, we saw some fantastic football, international football, so a special call out to Atlanta's number 23, Argentinian. Can't remember his name, Alan Barr or something He's like a that. World Cup winner with Argentina. World Cup winner. My favourite was the guy who was playing for Atlanta, um, Zimmerman, who... Uh, Plays for the USMNT, they call it here. So, yeah, yeah. nice one. Had a great time at the game. Uh, we're going to go out and explore Nashville now. Definitely. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.